Live from Calumet City, Illinois, near Chicago, is the game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It is Tic Tac Doe. And I am Rodney1279. Hello, guys. Welcome to Tic Tac Doe. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. Well, we have a reigning champion who has won three games in a row, and $83,503 is Ben Mason. What's up, Ben? Not much. What's up with you? Nothing, Ben. You ready to play tic-tac-toe? You betcha. All right. And his challenger is Boris Alexander. How you doing, Boris? Right. Right. I have four words. I want my title back. Oh, oh, no problem with that. Oh, Boris, be sure to mute the um speaker on your team viewer so you won't have that echo sound. It's okay. All right, you got it. Yep. There we go. Cool. All right, let's play tic tac toe. Here's the nine subjects we'll be doing in today's episode, and they are the following. We have 70s TV jump in category, which I will unblock y'all. There we go. We have movies, countries in the form of a card game, 70s, excuse me, not 70s pop culture, 17 pop culture. I just noticed that myself. This is our new category to replace the 2016 pop culture. It's 2017 pop culture, and the trivia will be based on the first three months of this year, okay? We have bonus category, a three-part question. Answer the three-part question correctly. You'll have another turn immediately. We have no vowel musicians, double or nothing, and all about Nick. Which category would you like to start with, Ben? The category I want to start off with is the double or nothing. All right. Here's your question on Double Nothing. You know the idea of it. So here it is. What color is the complementary color opposite of violet on the color wheel? Violet. White. White is wrong. I'm sorry. The purple? Not purple, no. The color that is opposite of violet. It's opposite of violet. Indigo? Indigo is wrong. Black. Black is wrong. Who? What who, is it? who said yellow? I think I heard somebody say yellow, but that's the answer. Yellow. Yellow. Okay, we shuffle. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Lori FaceTimed me again. Oh, that's okay. Hey, Cody, how you doing? Hey, did I miss anything? No, we, you're just on time. We just started. You missed yep. the intro. Yep. All right, Boris. Uh, no, 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 no vowel musicians. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, you see that on um, Novell Musician, um, Boris? Yep. All right, this, this Novell Musician is a part of the Black Eyed Peas. Name her. Mm, her full name is Stacy and Ferguson, but her, her uh, pseudonym is uh, Fergie. That is correct. Good job. All right, $2,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Ben. Casey, Fergie Ferguson, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got it. Don't worry about it. Let's try it again. Going to try it again. Second time in that category. Your question. What direction does the sun... Let me see. Let me try it again. What direction does the sun rise from? That's right. Good job. Okay. 
Now, we're keeping that box or we are going to go for another? I had to think about that for a bit. Let's risk it for the Novell uh, musicians and all that. He's going for the Novell musicians for both boxes here. Take a look at this one. Still thinking about uh, Bernie there. Who wouldn't? Right. Top the charts 12 times. You know, big girls don't cry on London Bridge. Yeah? All right. You see it? Ah, uh, I'd like to give you the answer right now, but uh, can I, or you want me to, uh, you well, just give me the question, all well, right? I'll give you the clue. What, what, wake me up before you go, go. Let me try again. Wake me up before you go, 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 go was a song by this late Novell musician in 1984. Name him. The one and only George Michael. Yeah, both boxes. Nicely done. Now we have $6,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. Hey, rest in peace. Yeah. Gone too soon. All right, boys. That was a very good question. Uh, Thank you, know, sir. Like uh, George Michael. And I uh, very uh, uh, sad that uh, he passed away. But uh, uh, okay, uh, let's try a bonus category. He's going with the bonus category. Okay, risking it. Here's your question on the bonus. Oh, never mind, never mind it, never mind it. I'll fix it in a moment, okay? We'll fix that. All right, here's your bonus category question. Three-part question, answer it right. You get another turn immediately, okay, Boris? Okay. Give me any three members, past or present, that was in the R&B music group Destiny's Child. Beyonce. That's one. Uh, you don't say, uh, Kelly Rowland. That's two. I need one more. Kelly Williams. Good job! That's right! Now, hang on. I'm going to fix this. Hang on. Now, this shuffle is not going to count. Okay, we'll just choose something random. Wrong, we shuffle it again. Okay. We're going to put that, uh, that there. That's the right answer. And he's going to, um, play. Or he's going to stop. Yes. He's going to stop there. We shuffle it again. Random category, wrong. Okay, now this is your proper turn, Boris. All right, now where we going? Wow, look at that. Let's try a uh, double or nothing for the win. That was there earlier when I made that screw up. <laughs> All right, you get that question right on double or nothing, Boris. It'll be tic-tac-toe, $10,000, and you'll be back as champion, okay? Okay. Which automaker sold a car model called the Colt? Could you repeat? Which automaker sold a car model called the Colt? C-O-L-T, Colt. Uh, I would say uh, uh, automaker. Uh, Mitsubishi. Sorry, that's wrong. It's not Mitsubishi. Is it Chevrolet? Not Chevrolet. I said Dodge. Who said Dodge? I said Dodge. That's right, Ben. It is Dodge. So, Ben has been saved. $8,000 is still in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Ben. Just to play it safe, let's go with the uh, no vowel on uh, music. 
Okay, he just he's gonna go for the block. Okay, here's your next one. No foul musicians here. Who could it be this time? All right, you see that no vowel musician? I did, yes. This R&B singer suffers from a disease that is, a disease that is called multiple sclerosis. She is currently married to former basketball player Grant Hill. Her very first single was "You Put a Move on My Heart." Name her. Tomei, I don't know. Tomei is wrong. The answer is Tamia. Tamia. Oh, whoa. Ta whoa. Tamia. I would have got that. Yep. <laughs> yep. We shuffle. Well, I've heard Marissa Tomei, but uh, ah, never mind. Yep. Now, where would you like to go, Boris? Oh, double or nothing from the win. All right. Could be $10,000, but first, you have to get this one right. What color is the one ball in a traditional billiard set? What color is the one ball in a traditional billiard set? The one ball is... Brown. Brown is incorrect. I'm sorry. Is it yellow? It's yellow. Yes, yellow. Yeah, yeah we had this question on uh, Joker's Wild. Yeah, yeah, shocking. Yeah, eight thousand still in the pot. We shuffle. And both times those questions were missed. Yeah. No, I got that right. I. Yeah, you did get it right, AJ. Yep. I been. Ronnie to win this game. 1970s television. All right, you'll retain your champion. Damn it! I keep on messing up. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? I'm going to start looking at the keyboard, but we know it's 1970s television for the win, okay? Now, you get this question on 1970s television. It'll be tic-tac-doe. Um, $10,000, and you'll have the championship, Ben, okay? Sure. Someone call the soundboard and tell them to fix the sound effects. Thank you. Yeah, we'll redo this board here. Okay, what 1970s TV sitcom was inspired by and loosely based on the American singing group, The Cow Sales? Is it A, The Beverly Hillbillies, B, Good Times, C, Happy Days, or D, The Portridge Family? The Portridge Family. You have Tic Tac Go. Good job. Thank you. Good day, Boris. That resolved it. That resolved it. We won't even play the theme because I screwed up so badly. But you got we know you got ten thousand dollars, um, Ben. Very nice. So that gives you a total of ninety-three thousand five hundred and three dollars, and we'll go out against that dragon shortly. Well Boris, we'll definitely have you for another game, man, okay? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna just just forget about this part. We're going to the beat the dragon game. You ready, Ben? Sure I am. All right, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. I'm going to have to start looking at the keyboard. Oh, no problem. Yeah, we'll have to pull the soundboard in a minute. Yep. I'm going up. All right, Ben, you know there's nine numbers on the board. The object is for you yeah. to reach $10,000 or more or get the ticket and attack before seeing the dragon. One, two, three, four... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just counting up the money that Ben is going to lose in this in this round. Uh, don't count, uh, don't count, Mr. Uh, Dragon. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Get to the prizes, Mr. Flippin' Sir. All right, here are the prizes you can win: an entertainment wall unit, a 65-inch projection TV, a global electric motor car, a spa, a living room group. And another spa, and those prizes are total $35,215, Ben. 
All right, Ben, you managed to get the pick and attack on any of your picks. We give you a $55,000 bonus. You and your first two picks will double that bonus to $110,000, and you have a shot and a brand new car. Go ahead and start picking, Ben, when the board is covered. We're off with number two, Mr. Flippin' Sir. All right, let's see what's behind number two. Whoa! All right, Ben, now... You have a one in eight shot to find tick. If you find a tick, we double in that bonus, that cash bonus, to $110,000, and you're going for the car. Righty, let's go to number seven and see if that's uh, a lucky one. Oh, sorry. For, for $110,000, is tick buying number seven? No, it's $4,000, Ben, but you still have the bonus. For fifty-five thousand dollars, stop or go. Proceed, Rodney. With which number? With which number, eh? Good question. Well, the difference between uh, seven and two is five, so let's go there. Right in the bullseye. Oh. Is tick behind number five? That's twenty-five hundred dollars. You have sixty-five hundred dollars, Ben. Stop or go. Let's see, five and. Uh, Less than that, uh, two less than that. What's your number? Number three, as in uh, right next to uh, right about six. All right. All you need is $3,500. A tick will give you the bonus. Let's see. $1,000. We're stretching it out a little bit. $7,500, Ben. Do we stop or go? Do we stop or do we go, Ronnie? Number four. Let's go. He's going for it. All right, $2,500 will get you the prize package. That tick will give you the bonus. Let's see what's behind number four. You got the prize package. Nicely done, Ben. Yeah. $10,500. Let's see where um, how the dragon was. The dragon was behind number one, and the tick is behind number nine. Total, uh, our total pork roast. What? You <laughs> you you're a piece of pork roast because you you won against me and I'm bad. Never mind. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go back to my home and eat a pork chop and I'm gonna let Mr. Ormus die. Would ya? Oh, I will, Ben. I will, and I'll be back to face you again later. All right, guys, incidentally, Ben, you have won $45,715 in that bonus round. We had your, you are, we already added your previous wins of $93,503. That gives you a total of $139,218. All right, guys, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll do more tic-tac-toe. Thank you, guys. Welcome, Rodney. Man, that dragon loves to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back with Tic Tac Doe, guys. Well, Ben managed to win the prize package. He's up to $139,218. The jackpot for the Beat the Dragon game is $60,000 now, or one to $20,000 if it happens on the first two picks. He's going to play against this opponent, Steve Kabrowski. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing fine, Rodney. How are you? Good, good, good. Ready to play? Ready to do my best. All right. Here's the nine next nine categories we'll be dealing with, and they are the following. We have toys and games, the bonus category, math, movie quotes, what happened first, double or nothing, Kids History, The $10,000 Question, and 2017 Pop Culture. Go ahead, Ben. Start start picking. I'm, um, uh, I'm going to lock y'all buzzers now. I'm locking the buzzers with the, uh, the jumping category. Oh, somebody's not even in there. My mistake. Kids History, bottom left. Go right, whatever. Going Kids History. Okay. Here's your question on Kids History. Which U.S. Apollo mission was the first to land on the moon? 
Is the A99, B13, C11, or D15? W Apollo 11. That is right. Good job. $2,000 is in the pot. Let's shuffle it. All right, Steve. Bonus. Going for the bonus. Okay. Three-part question, Steve. Answer the three-part question correctly. You'll get another turn. Mm -hmm. On TLC's, and I'll repeat again, on TLC's 1999 R&B pop song, Scrubs, what are the three things that classify you as a scrub according to the song? Listen to that. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, boy. Um, uh, I have no guess. Mm. No guess at all? Nope, I'm going to pass. Oh, I will tell you. That's too bad. I will tell you. Um, the three things that classifies you as a scrub, according to the song, is if you do not have a car and you're walking. Okay, that's the other. That's the first one. The second one, if you live at home with your mama, that's the second one. And the third one, if 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 you have a shorty that you don't show love for, yep, those are the three things that classify you as a scrub, according to that song. All right, we have two thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. I feel sorry for whoever's done those three things. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, I'm one of those things because I don't have a car. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter there. All right, Ben. Ronnie, give me Kit's history in the setup. Oh, two-part question. All right, we're three thousand dollars, and we will give you the extra time on that. Kid's history. First, who was the first man on the moon? Is it A. Alan Shepard? B. Neil Armstrong? C. John Glenn or D. Buzz Aldrin? And the second one, who was the first president of the United States? A. George Washington, B. Abraham Lincoln, C. Thomas Jefferson, or D. Andrew Jackson? Here's the time to think about it. All right, Ben, which part you want to answer first? First American president was uh, George Washington. Right. And uh, give me the choices again on the first uh, man on the moon. Is it A. Alan Shepard, B. Neil Armstrong, C. John Glenn, or D. Buzz Aldrin? John Glenn. John Glenn is in. John Glenn is wrong. Where is it, uh, Cody? It's Buzz Aldrin, I think. It's not Buzz Aldrin. I'm Neil sorry. Armstrong. It's Neil Armstrong. Yep, Neil Armstrong. Okay. Even, even I was off. Yep. Two thousands in the pot, we shuffle. All right, Steve. Sorry, guys, my camera uh went off there. And uh, Steve, what's your category again for the record for the camera? Movie quotes. Okay, movie quotes. All right, on the lower uh, center, here's your question on movie quotes. The the quote now I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. So. So Dance Good begins a famous scene in which film? Is it A, Reservoir Dogs, B, The Godfather, C, Taxi Driver, or D, Pope Fiction? Mm, I don't remember that quote exactly. Um, I'll say Pope Fiction. Good guess. That's right. Good job. All right. Uh -huh. I remember that scene really well. Yep. $4,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. I'm going to keep an eye on this camera so it won't do that again. All right, uh, Ben. Let's try the kids' history again and, and a two-part. It's a good idea. Okay, we have, uh, okay, we down to our last three questions in this category. Then we're going to go to the alternate. Okay, here's kids' history. All right, first. Not including annulled marriages, which English king was famous for having three wives? Is it A, Edward VIII, B, Richard VIII, C, Richard the Lionheart, or D, Henry VIII? And the second one, 
Which of these cities was divided by a wall from 1961 to 1989? Is it A, Washington, D.C., B, Berlin, C, London, or D, Rome? Here's the time to think about it. All right, Ben, which part do I answer first? That city, and the second one is uh, Berlin, Germany. That's correct. And uh, repeat uh, the first one again, if you would. Not including annulled marriages, which English king was famous for having three wives? Is it A, Edward VIII, B, Richard VIII, C, Richard the Lionheart, or D, Henry VIII? The only thing that comes to mind is Henry VIII. Is that what you're answering? That's my answer. That's correct. Good job. All right, we have seven thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Steve. Double or nothing for the block. All right, going with double or nothing for a potential block. Your question: What breed of dog is Lassie? Collie. There you go. That's right. Now, are we keeping that box or are we risking it for another box, knowing that if you mess up in that box, you'll lose them both? God, this is tough. I think I'm going to keep it. Fair enough. You got the block. $9,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. All right, um, Ben. Last time in that category, okay? Here's a question in kids' history. If it comes up again and y'all choose it, we'll do the alternate. Here's your question. Which of the following was the name of one of Christopher Columbus's famous ships? Is it A, the Santa Mary, B, the Penta, C, the Titanic, or D, the Dina? The Penta. That is right. Good job. I would out of that category, eleven thousand dollars is in the pot and we shuffle. All right, uh, let's see. Double or nothing. All right, double or nothing, okay. For the block, here's your question. How many cards are usually used in a game of solitaire? Oh god. One of the games I do not play. Uh I don't know. No, not 55. I'm sorry. Should have, should have been paying attention, I think. No, no. Don't do that, uh, Cody. The answer oh. the answer is 52, Steve. 52. Yeah, we use 50, okay. yeah, 52 okay. cards. Okay, we shuffle. My apologies, sir. That's okay. All right, um, Ben. Ronnie, to win this game, toys and Games. Uh, you get this question right on Toys and Games, Ben. It'll be Tic Tac Doe. $13,000. Your winnings will be at $152,218, okay? Your question. How many points is you... How many points is the red ball worth in the game of Snooker? Is it A1, B3, C2, or D5? Two points. Two is wrong. Two is wrong. I actually have a guess here. Go ahead, Cody. Three? Three is wrong. Ooh, what is it's it? One. It's one. The red ball are, is worth one point, and six different colored balls are worth various amount of points, depending on which ball you hit. So, yeah, one point for the red ball. Okay. Steve is still in the game. $11,000 is in the pile. We shuffle. <laughs> All right, Steve. Bonus. Going for the bonus category. Three-part question. Answer the three-part question correctly, and you'll get another turn. Okay. Seth McFarlane provides various voices for the show Family Guy. I need any three characters that Seth McFarlane provides the voice for for, for that box in another turn, Steve. Peter? Yes. 
Stewie? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Um. um my God, what's that kid's name? I can't think of it. Um. Oh, man. Um. Brian, the dog? Stand by. You said Peter, Stewie. You said Brian Griffin, the dog? Yes. Yep. You got the box. Good job. Oh. I'll give him another one. Go ahead. Chris. Quagmire. Yes. Which one? Which Quagmire? Glenn Quagmire. Yeah, that's the one. Is Chris one of them? Uh, Chris is not on this list. No. 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 We have a lot of others on this list, and we won't have time to go through this whole list. But uh, I'll save this off camera to go through that whole list with you guys, okay? All right. $13,000 is in the pot, and you get another turn, Steve. All right, Steve. Toys and Games for the win. Get this question right on Toys and Games. It'll be Tic Tac Doe. $15,000 and you'll be the new champion, Steve. Here's your question. How many dominoes make up one set? Is it A28, B48, C18, or D38? Thirty-eight? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's uh twenty-eight dominoes in a set. Twenty-eight dominoes in a standard set. Okay, we have $13,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Ben. Running. Hammer is a math question, and I want to block Steve. Okay, I'll hit you, all right. Here's your question <laughs> with, the, with math. I want to know what is the cubic root of 8. That's wrong. That's the square root of eight. No, that's wrong. The cube. That's the square. Actually, that's the square of eight. Um, the cubic root. When I say cubic root, is two because two times two times two is eight. Cubic root goes to the third power. Remember that. Okay. All right. So uh, we shuffle again. Two times two times two. Yep. All right, uh, Steve. Toys and games for the win. All right, fifteen thousand dollars and the championship right here. Here's your question: How many jokers are found in a traditional pack of playing cards? Is it A six, B four, C one, or D two? Two. You have tic tac toe, Steve. Oh. Yeah. Way to go! All right, Steve. You got that. You got that tic tac toe. Good job. Fifteen thousand wow. dollars, and you're gonna go ahead against that dragon shortly. Well, Ben, you're hanging in fourth place with one hundred thirty-nine thousand two hundred eighteen dollars and four wins, and we'll see you uh, in the next ep. Well, in another episode, rather. Okay. Oh, hey, I told you. <laughs> All right. I'll see you. All right, Steve. Are you ready to go against that dragon? I'm ready. All right, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. Got my microphone here. This is going to be the last segment, and then we're going to close. A big jackpot here. You And the good news, Steve, you'll be in our Trivia Pursuit episode tomorrow. All right. Yep. All right. Um, here's the money amounts in that. We won't talk about that thing in number five. We'll just go on with the prizes. Let's see what prizes you're in for, Steve. A bedroom group and sleep set. Another bedroom group and sleep set. A dining group and dinnerware. A player piano. A trip to the Bahamas. An entertaining unit and 36 inch stereo TV. 
Those prizes are total $33,865, Steve. All right. Managed to get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, we give you a $60,000 bonus. Doing your first two picks, we'll double that bonus to $120,000, and you'll have a shot a new car. All right. And if you're ready to go, Steve, go ahead and start picking. Number four. Let's see what's in number four. $4,000. Okay, stop or go? Let's go with number six. Let's see what's in number six. There's $1,000. All you need is $5,000 and you'll win the prize package. Stop or go? I'll go with number one. All right, $5,000 will do the job. Let's see what's in number one. There's the tick now. Things are interesting now. Now you just need an attack, and you have a $60,000 bonus. Stop or go? I'm going to go, and I'm going to... I got a feeling it's in number three. All right, you need the attack for the $60,000 bonus. $5,000 will get you the prize package. Let's see what's in number three. $2,500. You're still alive. $7,500. Stop or go? Going. All right. Number... Two. Number two, we would like to see that tack, but $2,500 will give you the prize package. Let's see. You did it, Steve. You got the bonus. Yeah. Oh, and uh, that puts you really good on the leaderboard. We'll see if that puts you in the top eight, Steve. $10,000 in the prize package. Let's see where that dragon was in the bullseye, number five. Good job that you avoided it. So, so that bonus round was worth $103,065 so far to you. You want to see what car you're going for? Yes, please. It's a new 2016 Tesla Model S worth $39,320. This is going to be a Model 3. Yes. Manage to find that car, Steve, between the tick or the attack. Your wins will be at close to $190,000 in one game. Wow. And I got a feeling, pretty good feeling it's under tick. Tick, huh? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Man, you don't have to put on that red lace. Let's see. You did it, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. That was funny, was it, Justin? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm adding up your wings already. But he, I'll make official. You have $183,185, Steve. We had your previous winnings of $15,000. That gives you a total in one game, $198,185. Yeah, baby. Yeah. And you'll be playing the Trivia Pursuit episode against um AJ tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, did everybody have a good time on the call? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Rodney1279 for Tic Tac Doe saying be safe, be careful. And if y'all want to join this fun that we have on here, let me know in the chat. We would love to have you on the show. We still have a lot of room to have on the leaderboard for the Tournament of Champions. Okay, guys? Later, y'all. Man, well, you don't have to put on that red light.
See y'all guys for our Trading Pursuit episode on tomorrow, y'all. Goodbye.